afternoon. My name is Kathleen. I'm the registered nurse and patient navigator with Real Time Laboratory. We're going to discuss today um, complications or effects of mold and mycotoxins in the lungs. And airborne mold and mycotoxins in the indoor environment penetrate deep into the respiratory tract. We've also discussed the fact that mycotoxins damage cells. And there are a lot of cells to be found in the respiratory tract. Some of the effects patients may feel are asthma, inflammation in the lungs. Also, inflammation leads to breathing difficulties. You can have a cough. Some patients experience chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. All of these things have been associated with mold and mycotoxin toxicity. In some extreme cases, with damage to lung cells, you may have some pulmonary hemorrhage. Bottom line, what you need to understand and what you need to know is we can tell you signs and symptoms that are associated with mold and mycotoxin toxicity, but it's your doctor that would have to make that connection for you. Testing, both testing clinically with a urine test to determine mycotoxins in your urine and testing your environment to determine that those same mycotoxins are in your environment are also very helpful. Putting the pieces together for your doctor so that he can make the proper diagnosis for you, whether it's from mold or mycotoxins or any other environment to environmental toxins. That would be his decision, but we would like to give you any information that might be of assistance. If you have any other questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to give us a call at Real Time Laboratory. Thank you and have a good day.